hello everyone so today we are going to implement a way to uh, make this fork interact with the player character so as you can see here you can see the fog is colliding with the player character and kind of moves away oh I <laughs> walked out of the plane so yeah as we walk around you can see the fog is moving away from the player like sort of reacting and also as you can see here there is no more clipping of fog planes with the ground earlier we had an issue that uh, we could see the plane where the fog is clipping through the ground and so we can we was able to see a sharp edge there so i'm going to solve that also thanks to a nice person who commented out a solution for that so let's see how to do those things today okay right so this is what we have at the moment and you can see in places like this you can see a line which uh, which uh, we can see the location where the fog clip with the ground see so that's why we can see a line there so this is the solution for that this is previous video i did and someone commented here yeah here there is a node in the material blueprint called depth fade and put it put that in the opacity pin and set the distance to whatever you like so yeah thank you very much for letting me know that because i didn't know this so right let's try that in the material mm -hmm. depth fade let's connect opacity here and fade distance 100 let's see what happens let's move it down so that we can see the clipping yeah actually we don't see the clipping now anymore okay so that problem is solved now let's look into how to make this fork interactive so for that um, here so in order to make the, make it look like interacting what i want to do is sort of pushing the fog away from the player character so to do that uh, here let's add in the particle update a point attraction force so as the position to attract uh, as the attractor position i'll use simulation position that would be the middle where the emitter is and attraction strength but if I make it like 100 do I see anything no 300 no oh wait what if I make this minus nothing happens uh, let's try increasing this radius oh yeah now it is you can see it's working so let's try something like 30 so yeah it is working but we don't really need this much so it has to be subtle so I think if I keep the radius to 100 that should be enough to represent an area that represents the player character to check this uh, this is where the uh, 
emitter is so let's create a blueprint actor pp mist so i'm gonna remove this okay and here i am going to add this mist like this and in the event graph what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this follow the player character so get player character get actor location and then set actor location with the location of the player character so wherever the player go the mist will follow right now let's add it here okay and play have we seen anything nope oh sorry I have used actor beginner well if I should do this in the tick so we don't uh, really need to run the tick in every frame if you are concerned about performance you can reduce this but I'll keep the default settings for now so yeah as you can see now the mist is sort of pushing away see <coughs> see so you can see some kind of uh, interaction with the character and yeah I'm not going to uh, increase the effect because keeping this in a subtle level is important otherwise it starts to look unrealistic for example if I make this so the this is a point attraction force by making it minus i am so pushing away from the character so if i make it like 90 the effect will be much clear but it becomes see it becomes some a bit unrealistic see so i want to avoid that so that's so maybe like I think minus 30 works better right and also I did one more thing that I didn't show which is uh, in order to easily test the effect I set the moment speed max walk speed to 200 so that I can easily test the effect because if the character is running we can't really it's not the effect is not clear so yeah so that's how i implemented the interactive folk and i am going to stop this episode right here okay so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye